I'll do my best to help defend the SmackDown Live Women's Championship against Sheamus, which is something I never thought I'd say. It's a strange situation that Brooklyn put us in, but I appreciate the help. At least we're already up 1-0, so we have the advantage. That's right. Undefeated in our house. Whose house? Our house? Come on, whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house! Yeah, much better. You couldn't just leave Trey and I alone and let us have our success in WWE, could you? Do you really want to do this now? Because if I were you, I'd be doing everything in my power to try to hold on to my championship. That's kind of out of my hands at this point, thanks to you in this ridiculous series. You see ridiculous, but I see innovative. I've broken the mold with everything I've done in my life, so don't expect that to stop now that I'm GM of SmackDown Live. That's right, I said SmackDown. Happy? say I've never imagined Big E pinning me. Not on my bucket list. The only thing Big E seems to have lost in since his NXT days is his last name. Such a hater, man. Relax. That glutton. He's greedy. He's selfish. Three ain't enough. He needs five. Just to name a few of those accomplishments, but Sheamus talking to him feels like he isn't given the respect that he deserves as one of the most decorated champions in this company. As match two of the series gets underway, I don't want to lose perspective on just how unique this situation is. We have Big E and Sheamus essentially competing over the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This is groundbreaking content from our new general manager, Brooklyn Von Braun. And honestly, I'm all for anything that breaks the mold. I think I'm gonna have to wait and see how the series plays out before I weigh in, but my initial reaction is this isn't exactly fair for the champion, Red. It's not about being fair, Byron. It's about entertaining the WWE Universe, and that's exactly what this accomplishes. Nothing fancy here. Boom, what impact. Max Handle finds 
the mark. And Big E manages to reverse out of that one. Oh, oh geez. Take all the wind out of you. Oh, again! Shane is looking a little bit uneasy here. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Incredible impact! If I was Big E, I'd concentrate more on winning the match than playing to the crowd. Big E goes for the big ending! Sheamus counters! Bro kick! This could be it! Sheamus gets the win, and more importantly, the series is now tied up at a win each. Going down 2-0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her Savages, but now it's a whole new series! You didn't hear this from me, but Red's getting a little nervous now that the series is tied up. No, she doesn't need to worry, because after my match against Finn, we'll be one win away from taking the series. Then Red can defend her title versus Becky in the ring. You know, how it's usually done. That's good. Hey, this might be a little late, but I had an idea for our team name. The New Trey. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks! New Trey Rocks! What do you think? Uh, I, uh, think I heard my music. Uh, gotta run.
With the series now tied up in one victory each, this match is pivotal in giving one team a 2-1 lead and putting them a win away from taking both the series and the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think this is where we start to see the experience and cohesiveness of Becky Lynch's Savages take over. Even though these are singles matches, Red and Trey barely know the New Day. And if things start to go south, they could all fall apart. I have to agree with Corey. We know Red and Trey are tight, and certainly the New Day have been teaming for a very long time. But I question the kind of bond the five of them have been able to create in just a few weeks. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Head crank. Ugh, twisting the body. Xavier Woods with a nice reversal. gonna hurt tear your hamstring over the last few years Xavier Woods has become a legitimate pop culture phenomenon from bootios to ice cream to hosting Wrestlemania he's done it all take your time enjoy it boom before the fist drops on your face and Xavier Woods too quick that time man Xavier Woods what offense Tough spot to be in. Here we go. Start the count. Any more punches and Sax is gonna have to take his shoes off the count. Oh, man. As Michael mentioned, Xavier Woods has definitely made his mark on pop culture. But perhaps his biggest contribution is Woods' thriving video game Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Yeah, it looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunne doing out here? Well, maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. Coup de gras. It's all over. Was Finn Balor ever really hurt? Or was this just a setup by Becky Lynch and her savages? This is unbelievable. The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about team cohesiveness? That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. You should have been in a position to win the series against Becky Lynch. I'm sorry I let you down. You didn't. All that matters is we're still alive. Now I just need to beat Becky to even up the series, and then it's up to Trey to close it out. You got this. Then after that, well, you got this. You've got a lot of nerve showing up in our locker room. I'll go wherever the hell I want, especially since I'm about to be the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I guarantee I'm gonna beat you and tie the series up. Okay, then what? Because even if you somehow manage that, then your friend Trey's going against my friend Drew in the final match. And we all know my friend's just a little bit tougher than yours. So like I said, one way or another, that championship's coming back where it belongs. If you're so confident, how about we get things started right now? Nah, 
Nah, I need to go warm up first. Don't want to pull a muscle slapping your head off. She told me just how proud she is of what she's done in the ring as of late. But if I know her, Michael, she's not even close to being satisfied. You can bet she has plenty more she wants to do over the course of her career. The man has come around. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky. Tired of hearing the man this and the man that. After a while, the time for talk has to be over and the time for action has to start. It seems like Becky Lynch would rather take the time for social media. Oh, wait, are you talking about Becky Lynch or yourself, Lori? Yes, Becky is known to run her mouth and her typing fingers, but no one can honestly deny that she always pings her A game when it's time to fight. They came the first women's. Double champion, which you beat Ronda Rousey and Shuck. We spoke earlier about a team's back being up against the wall, and that's certainly the case for Red, as she faces Becky Lynch down 2-1 with the series in her championship on the line. That's what I was saying about this series being unfair for Red. She can defeat Becky Lynch, but still lose her title if Trey were to go down in the final match. Or Becky Lynch can beat Red right now, making this whole discussion pointless. I suggest we see what happens before anyone starts a protest. Now inside the ring. Oh, while her love affair with the WWE Universe brings me severe nausea, I have total respect for how Becky Lynch became the revolutionary superstar she is today. The Irish last kicker started training for the ring at just 15 years old. Insulting. Oh, now it's Becky Lynch making her pay. Wow, what a sequence. And scissors Ooh. take them. Oh, very nice. Oh. Inverted DDT. Touching on Becky Lynch's training that you mentioned, Corey, those grueling workouts were held in a small room with only a few gym mats, and the Ireland-based wrestling school was run by none other than Finn Balor. That's where Becky developed her take-on-anyone attitude, guys. Before Becky knew it, she was competing in her native Ireland and had stamps in her passport from battles all around the world. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Oh! Boom! It's starting to come together in a big way. She's able to turn it on in a flash. The Irish last kicker telling her opponents how she really feels. Suplex. Big boot. Oh. 
Great match here, but if you missed any of the action from this week, just go to WWE's Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter, and more to get all caught up. Man, that's going to hurt. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Look at this. What a maneuver. The women's revolution has turned into the women's evolution. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Oh my God, a DDT! Lights out. Oh, foot just stomping down. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Now we have Becky Lynch on the attack. Plenty of hits coming her way now. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. Wow, she turned that one around. Snap suplex. the impact. A running swanton! She's slowing down here, guys. Slowing down. She's stuck in park, Cole. Boom. Nice. Risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Whoa. Unbelievable athleticism. Amazing reflexes on display. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. The man connects. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. She's in control. Sends her opponent outside. What's her next plan of attack? We're going to find out right now. Torpedo and a DDT! She can't possibly come back from that. Jeez, I don't like Becky Lynch's chances in this one. Back in from the floor. Oh, now it's Becky Lynch making her pay. Becky Lynch makes the cover. You're not going to get her that easy. Going to take more than that.
jumping into the energy reserves. Wow, Byron, did you ever see this coming? Not at all. Sent to the outside. Oh, man, a drop kick. Bad landing. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Oh, she turns it around. Incredible athleticism. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Going up top. Look out. Here we go. Whoa. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Didn't see that takedown coming. Nothing's going to stop her now. She's capable of bursts of great activity. The key is to stay. Becky Lynch making her pay. And again, yet another counter. Oh, nice. She says, no thanks. Don't know if it's going to work, but Becky is playing mind games now. Oh, it could be nap time. On an incredible job breaking free. But you have to imagine there will be residual effects from being caught in that hole. Thank you, Lynch. He's got it cinched in the disorder. Locked in. This will break your arm in a hurry. Can Becky's opponent hang on? Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Becky Lynch got it. We spoke earlier about a team's back being up against the wall, and that's certainly the case for Red, as she faces Becky Lynch down 2-1 with the series and her championship on the line. That's what I was saying about this series being unfair for Red. She can defeat Becky Lynch, but still lose her title if Trey were to go down in the final match. Or Becky Lynch can beat Red right now, making this whole discussion pointless. I suggest we see what happens before anyone starts a protest. She was looking for. DDT planet. Uh oh. Phoenix Splash. Becky Lynch may be starting to fade here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. She goes for the quick pin. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Oh, okay. Becky connects. Oh, had that well scouted. On oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Oh, yeah. She scores big with the counter. Ooh! Boom! Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, it's another reversal. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Oh! Boom! She seems to have gained the advantage here. She's on the attack and on the move. A running swanton! Now it's Becky Lynch fading a bit. 
She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Lost in the corner right now. Finds a way to reverse. German suplex. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? She's got something in mind. Oh, you don't see that every day. have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. Going for the home run. Oh, destroy your face. Get that instant replay ready. That should do it, Cole. There's no Two, coming back from a slam. Three. I don't believe it. This one is over. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.